Yeah, and I think that there is a uh, always has been a great uh, love uh, for Lourdes in Ireland. Um, as you said at the introduction, I am with the Oblates of Mary Immaculate, and the first organised English language pilgrimage to Lourdes took place in 1883, which in fact was only 25 years after the apparition. And you know, we nowadays have the internet and everything else, and communication takes place in a moment. And it's hard to imagine what it would have taken for that message and the significance of Lourdes to make its way to Ireland just 25 years after it happened. And not alone that, for, in this instance, an oblate priest, uh, Father William Ring, to actually go and understand the importance of organizing a pilgrimage. And, you know, Helen has mentioned flying here to Lourdes, but in those days, they had to get on a ship and maybe get to England, take the train, get across the channel. Um, it's hard to imagine what that must have been like for those people. And then to get all the way down to the southwest of France, um, and they came in such numbers. I know, for example, in the case of the Oblates, in the 1930s, they chartered a ship which left Dublin to bring people to Lourdes, and they brought 1,300 people in the early 1930s. It's almost unbelievable. So there is a great love for Lourdes. I mean, even when I was growing up, I probably didn't know where Lourdes was, but I don't think you could have been a Catholic in Ireland without knowing of this place called Lourdes. And so, you know, when finally... Um, when I came for the first time, I came with the intention that somebody kept asking, OK, I'll come, but that's my one and only time that I'll come. And that was 1978, and I'm still here. So I think Helen has mentioned the call. But I think there's a lot of that sense with people um, in Ireland um, of wanting to go to Lourdes. And people are aware of other shrines, but I think Lourdes holds a very special place in the hearts of Irish people. And indeed, as you walk around here, that Golden Dome was funded by Irish people. So the, the, it, it, it's, you know, we're not the largest group, we're not the biggest country in Europe, but in our, even to this day, Lourdes is a special place for Irish people, and they've, everybody has, probably in their home, a statue of Our Lady of Lourdes.